Brussels is famous for two things. One, chocolate, and two, <laughs> fudge in the uh, agreements very often. But we, didn't, but we didn't get any chocolate and we didn't get any fudge because we never even got to the stage of a fudge because they couldn't even agree on a fudge. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Good morning to you. Good morning. It's a very complicated one, let's be honest. And essentially, it all comes down to what the leaders decided late in October. They said, let's go ahead and implement a cap on natural gas prices. You, European Commission, figure out the details. So in essence, what we saw yesterday was these very clear divergences among the 27 about how a price cap on natural gas should work. And so at the end of the meeting, we were exactly where we were at the start of the meeting. There was no progress whatsoever. And in fact, several European officials told me that the discussions inside were very heated, that at one point the discussions were actually uh, very ugly. And during those conversations, in fact, the minister from Malta, she actually stepped aside and spoke to us in, in Brussels. And here's what she had to say about some of these differences among the 27. These things together, in my point of view, will uh, put us in a situation where um, that mechanism will never be triggered, apart from other obstacles related to the mechanism. So on that proposal, I believe that there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. So does that mean that this is going to drag for several weeks, several months? Will we actually see a cap on gas prices at any point be approved at the EU level? These are exceptional times, so we do not have several months uh, dragging uh, if we really want to arrive at a workable solution. Ultimately, what Malta needs, and I'm sure that most of the member states need the same, is a workable solution. Um, this is a situation that is affecting all EU member states. So when we look at this package, we want to make sure that we have something where all the EU member states are really coming together, because this is not a crisis that is impacting one member state or the other. But time is of the essence. Miriam Daly there, the Minister for Energy from Alta, she was very clear to say that time is a essence, and yet what happened is that now we're going to have a new emergency meeting on December the 13th to see whether the 27 will actually manage once and for all to come up with an agreement on how to make this price cap work.